In this more advanced class, we won't be showing all the weighing of all the ingredients and everything every time because you already know how to weigh all of the ingredients. So I'm adding 115 grams of water and we have 16 grams of sea salt here. So this will take several folds to incorporate into the dough. And the dough's still pretty cold. But as it warms up and as, it, as we do some folds, it will begin to incorporate the water and the dough will loosen up a bit. It's pretty tight right now. So I'll go ahead and fold it again just because I'm trying to incorporate the salt and water. Okay, now I'll come back and check on it in half an hour and we'll see how it looks. Maybe fold it again. It's been three hours since I did the first fold and added the salt and I've folded it every 30 minutes since and the most of the water is incorporated now. There's just a little bit of liquid on the bottom. So I'm going to fold it maybe one more time and then after that uh, I'll let it set a while and we'll shape loaves. We'll see how the window pane's doing now. The, the dough is in layers so it's a little bit hard to pull a window pane. When you do a double hydration it's in layers. That also helps to give you the large holes in the bread. It feels a lot stronger. It's hard to tear. I can even try to tear it and it's hard. So there we go. But um, you can see, um, let me pull it up, you can see it's in layers. And this is from folding and having the water incorporated inside. So let's go ahead and fold it again. Grab some of that water in the corners. There's not very much left. Now at this point I really want to try to keep the smooth outside skin because the inside's really rough from, from being pockets of, of water. It's almost uh, like a lamination of water between layers of dough. The dough's pretty strong now too. So I'll come back in another half an hour and I'll shape loaves.